Please note that this tutorial is for Invisible Fence brand Indoor Shields Plus units that have serial numbers starting with S4. The serial number can be found on the back of your Shields Plus unit. Products that start with anything else may operate differently and may not have the same features. Now let's take a look at the basic controls. Here you'll see the signal field controls, the charging indicator light, LCD screen. On the LCD screen, you'll see the battery indicator light, signal field size, channels, and key lock. The Shields Plus unit charger looks like this. It may also have been given to you by your technician or trainer in a small white box. There are two plugs on the end of the charger and the underside is labeled with Radio Systems Corporation. The charging port for the Shields Plus unit is located on the side of the upper half of the Shields Plus. The opening is covered by a rubber flap that can be pulled back to reveal the charging port. When plugged in, an LED to the right of the LCD screen will light up orange. The Shields Plus unit will also chirp to let you know it is plugged in correctly if it is on. If the LCD screen is off, the LED will only light up and the Shields Plus will not chirp. The LED will shut off once the Shields Plus has replenished the battery charge. Your Shields Plus unit will need to be charged initially for four hours, then roughly once per month it will need to charge for two hours. Once the LED turns off, it is charged. Time between charges ranges from two weeks to six months, depending upon settings. Invisible Fence brand recommends charging all your Shields Pluses on a monthly schedule. The signal field is the area of activation where your pet will get the tone and the correction. The positive button increases the size of the signal field and turns the shield on. The minus button decreases the size of the signal field and turns the shield off. The signal field size is displayed as seen here on the LCD screen. The range goes from 1.5 to 6.0 in 0.5 increments. It does not correlate exactly to feet and is only a rough guideline. The Shields Plus unit is off when the LCD screen is blank. Be sure to turn off the Shields Plus unit and make sure the LCD screen is blank when moving the shields to another location. The signal field is not just a straight line. Think of it like a bubble. The distance correlates to the height and the signal field goes above and below the Shields Plus unit. Think of the signal field growing from the size of a soccer ball all the way to the size of a giant beach ball. The size of the signal field is determined by the area you are blocking off. Your certified invisible fence brand trainer will help you determine the best locations for your Shields Plus unit during training and long term. Key lock is used to prevent the size of the signal field from being altered. The Shields Plus unit on the left is locked, preventing the size of the signal field from being altered, while the Shields Plus unit on the right is unlocked. To turn the key lock on, just press the positive and negative buttons at the same time. Repeat to turn key lock off. If you have further questions about Shields Plus unit use or choosing a good location for indoor training, please contact your certified Invisible Fence brand trainer.